am I the a-hole for tearing down my half-sister when she asked me why I couldn't have saved my mum's name for her to use for a future daughter? I, 27 female, gave birth to my first child a month ago. My husband and I named her after my late mum and a favourite name of ours for her middle name. My mum died 10 years ago and using her name was always something I wanted to do. When my half-sister, 24 female, first heard the name, she got a little pouty and asked me why I didn't see if she wanted to use the name instead, and she said she had always imagined giving her first daughter my mum's, not her mum's, name. I told her I'd always intended to use my mum's name, and my half-sister said my mum was basically the closest person she ever had to a mum and how she was always so sweet and accepting of her, and she felt like it could have been a nice way for her to show respect and to show us she appreciated it. She said, I didn't need to use it. I said, I'm my mum's daughter, so of course I'd get to use it. My half-sister said we were all a family, and I emphasised in response that I was mum's only child. My half-sister said it might be true, but she accepted her into the family as well. And this is where I might be the a-hole, because I told her that was not true. I told her my mum hardly had a thing to do with her. She wanted nothing to do with her, but never felt good about taking out issues on kids. So she tried to be kind when she couldn't avoid her. But she absolutely did not love and accept her. And I told her to get real, thinking the woman who was cheated on would love and accept the child that came from the affair. I told her she shouldn't be trying to imply she had more of a right to my mum's name than I do, when she was nothing to my mum, and her child wouldn't be either. She left in tears. The background is already maybe clear, but my parents were married and had me. Mum found out Dad cheated on her and got his other woman pregnant and divorced him. She had primary custody of me. My dad ended up with sole custody of my half-sister. My dad made every effort to still be in my life and he always brought my half-sister when he'd show up to support me. My mum hated it. She never said that to me. But a couple of times I heard her talking to my aunt or my grandma about how much she despised seeing my half-sister there and how she knew it was an awful thing to say but that my half-sister reaching out for her like she would whenever Dad brought her was tough. I also heard her talk about Dad inviting her to be active in my half-sister's life, and she declined. She said she could suck it up and not be mean to her face, but she did not want to be around her more than she needed to be. Over the years, my half-sister did try to spend more time with my mum, whether it was packing to come with me when I was going home to mum or her rushing out the door when mum would pick me up so she could try to hug and talk to her. My half-sister always made a beeline for mum when she'd see her. My mum wasn't really that warm to her, but my half-sister always seemed to ignore it. I remember when mum died and my family and I had a private cremation for mum and my half-sister was so upset she couldn't come. And my dad and I stopped speaking after that because he told me I should have made sure my half-sister could be there. He never discouraged my half-sister pining for mum, even though I know mum told him she did not want a relationship with my half-sister. Anyway, since my half-sister ran out crying, she has texted me and told me I was cruel and that I didn't need to crush her hope that my mum had loved her and that she'd been wanted by at least one female figure in her life. She said she never wanted to be with her and dad, and then I never wanted her to be with me and mum either. Am I the a-hole? Well, gee, maybe, maybe not. Um, Father is to blame for all of this, and sister just wanted a mother in her life. But it really, really, really is hard to imagine what it is like to be in both OP's and the half-sister's position. Please let me know what you think in the comments below. 
And until next time, so long, farewell, pip pip, cheerio, much love, and bye.